Microsoft CEO has made a very bold statement. He thinks that all traditional applications and SaaS could be replaced with AI agents. So there's a part of me which says something like that will emerge as when agent to agent interface occurs. And recently, Y Combinator had a podcast in which they talk about how these vertical AI agents could be 10 times bigger than all SaaS. Every three months, things have just kept getting progressively better. And now we're at this point where we're talking about full-on vertical AI agents that are going to replace entire teams and functions and enterprises. That progression is still mind-blowing to me. A lot of the foundation models are kind of coming head to head. There used to be only one player in town with OpenAI, but we've been seeing in the last batch, this has been changing. Thank God. <laughs> it's like competition is, you know, the, the soil for a very fertile marketplace ecosystem uh, for which consumers will have choice and uh, founders have a shot. And that's the world I want to live in. But it doesn't stop just there. In 2025, we will see a lot of capital available for AI agents, startups, ideas, products, services, you call it. And saying this because top venture capital firms are making a very big space in their portfolio because they really want to fund those entrepreneurs who would like to bring solutions with AI agents. So you could be one of the first ones to get funded if you have a great product or great service. That is why in today's video, we are diving deep into AI agents. I would like to talk about where we are at the moment, what is coming in 2025, and I will build some use cases together so you guys can have an understanding of some of the things that you can build with these agents, which are very fascinating. So make sure you still to the end. AI agents are intelligent systems designed to perform a specific tasks autonomously. They can look at their environment, process information, and even take some actions to achieve uh, certain goals. They are quite different from traditional software because it doesn't require like a manual input for every function. And this is because AI agents, they learn, adapt, and they make decisions in real time. In my last video, I share some of the best use cases for AI agents that I have discovered after hours of research. So if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you uh, checking out that video because you will find a lot of value on there. There are so many incredible use cases for AI agents. One of the most impactful ones that I came across and when I really saw their full potential was when I met the founder of CreAI. He shared how AI agents can revolutionize productivity by speeding up processes across various areas, whether you are managing a team or running a business, these workflows can save time and significantly enhance efficiency. What really sets AI agents apart from traditional software or any other basic automation is their ability to learn and adapt. Because software operates pretty much within fixed parameters, but AI agents use machine learning to learn, analyze, and improve performance and even make complex decisions over time. So let me show you this crew that I built so you can understand how they work and the things that you can perform and do with these little teams. So I built four agents that have different tasks. So you can see them here. They have different tasks and roles. The first agent is a news retriever. He's going to perform a Google search He's going to find the latest news about whatever topic I give it. So it's going to retrieve all that. Then it's going to pass it over to the website scraper, who's going to scrape the website, get all the information, get all the content. Then the other agent is going to be a writer agent. This agent is going to write everything that the website scraper scrape. And lastly, we have the file writer agent. The file writer agent is going to be in charge of writing a file, a markdown file. And 
What is good about these agents is that you can give them different tools. For example, for this agent to work, we are using the Serper their depth tool, which is a tool that works with Google and let us search online, find different things that we want to look for. Then we have another tool. So I'm giving them different tools. This is a scrape website tool and I have it on here from the cruise. And then we can uh, give them a role, a goal and a backstory. So this is just like an overview. So you understand how do they work? So for example, I'm saying, uh, scrape the website for the latest news and information. And I'm giving it a backstory. You're a skilled web scraper with a knack for extracting valuable information from websites. Known for your attention to detail and ability to navigate complex websites to find the most relevant content. So that's how it works. And then, apart from creating the agent itself, you give them a task. You can give them as an expected output. So for example, for the news retriever and saying you're going to scrape or you're going to find five websites. So it's not going to go more than five websites. Once you have this ready, I'm going to give you an example of how it works. So let me run the crew and once it's done, I'm going to show you the output. So I want to show you the whole process of these agents and how they work together. So they work on a sequential process. So first, the first agent, which is the news retriever, is gonna think, and we can see here the thought that he had. So the agent said, I need to attempt another search to find relevant websites about AI LLMs in 2025. And then saying that it encountered an error. But what is good about these agents is that even though if they encounter an error, they're going to have this thought. You should always think about what to do. So they're not going to get stuck. They're going to continue. So as we can see, it finally found five websites. And then it's going to pass it over to the website scraper, who is going to start gathering all these information. So as we can see here, there's a lot of, it's gathering all this information, it's scraping the websites, getting all the information from the websites, all the content. And it continues with the other website. Once this agent is ready, he passes it over to the news writer who is going to start writing about the content that has been scraped. So as we can see here is the writer agent making it more beautiful, better format, organizing the sentences, the tests and everything. And the last agent is taking over and is the file writer. And the file writer is going to create a file about all this information so we can read it. Let me show you the, fi the file. This is the file, which is here. So the file is the latest developments in large language models and AI research. So it gives us an, an introduction. Then it talks about how, a hub for AI research, Google search blog, and nature machine intelligence, and it provides like an overview about what's happening, like the latest trends and the latest research about this topic. So this is how these agents work together. I just want to show you this very basic use case because in the same way that I create four agents, news retriever agent, web scraper, news writer, and a file creator, they work together and they created this file, which is ready to pause already to have it on a website, I can add even more agents or I can build different queues or different little, uh, what I would call little teams that will help me to get a lot of work done. So this is the future of 2025. We will see agents working on companies. We will see a lot of agents even for personal uses and um, yeah. The rapid race of AI agents in 2025 is driven by a combination of advancements and societal shifts. One major catalyst is the increasing reliance on automations. Additionally, the growing availability of these large datasets can help a lot these uh, AI agents because you can make them even smarter. You can teach them how to perform different things. Uh, you can teach them about decision making. 
you can connect these agents with different tools. You can connect them with a database, with a CRM. You can give them access to the internet if you wanna make some web search related tasks. So this is amazing, really. There are many businesses that are looking at how to automate repetitive tasks and even decision making. And AI agents just perfectly could fill this gap because you can automate whatever you want and you can also teach them how to make certain decisions. AI agents are more than the next step in technological evolution. They represent a transformative shift in how we interact with softwares, solve problems and innovate. With advancements in AI, a growing market demand and a lot of capital available for entrepreneurs for AI agents, 2025 is said to be the year of AI agents. These agents will not only simplify our life, but also redefine industries, shaping a future where intelligence and automation were hand in hand. So let me know in the comments, what is that excites you more about these agents and what are you thinking to, to build? What you would like to build with these agents? Because right now we are in the best moment to start building these agents. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe if you don't want to miss the best news and information about AI agents. So, see you later.